Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on for you in love, what can you expect in love, what are you um, gonna be dealing with in the near future, and who you might be dealing with, what are the energies between you. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, please, guidance. For Sagittarius, what guidance, what messages do you have regarding love for Sagittarius? For Sagittarius. Okay. So what's going on for you in love? We have the King of Swords. death which is Scorpio energy and the seven of cups interesting right away I'm thinking that there is um, a conversation or some sort of information truth um, regarding a choice that might lead to an ending or maybe there's an ending that's taking place in either of your lives something has changed or ended for you and so now there are choices to be made with the seven of cups um we'll see what that's about when we clarify on your side your energies we have the two of cups and the eight of wands okay and on their side we have the two of pentacles and the page of swords i feel like they're the ones telling you about this choice two of pentacles is all about weighing options um having some things that are um I don't know, it could be that you're juggling multiple things or busy with different things. But sometimes in a love reading, um, when I see something like the Two of Pentacles with the Page of Swords, I think of someone communicating their choice, the choice that they've made. Let me put these down for the near future energy. We'll look at those a little bit later. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. So this is an energy of burdens, obligations, things that are weighing you down feeling weighed down by burdens or obligations, responsibilities, um, carrying a heavy load and wanting to almost be done with that. Let's get some energies here. Spirit, tell me more about what's going on for Sagittarius in love. What do we need to know, Spirit? What are the energies for Sagittarius in love? broken silence so someone um breaking the silence being open vulnerable with you opening up in a very honest way what else what else do we need to know for sagittarius balancing act that's that two of pentacles juggling indecision balance you're juggling multiple things at once um or like i said you know weighing two very diff different options trying to decide something. I feel like whoever this is that you might be dealing with here, um, they have a choice to make regarding you or a choice between two people. What else? What else do we need to know? Move these up. Any other guidance Spare regarding the connection or the energies for Sagittarius? We need to know thoughts this is kind of like that seven of cups someone's thinking about you or vice versa yeah and then there's privileged lady at the bottom of the deck so someone's thinking about the person that they admire this could be you and thinking about the person you admire but i have a feeling it's them they're thinking about you can i get one more and then we'll get to clarifying can i get one more please could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, because we have the King of Swords here, or a Scorpio. Those are the signs I've shown up so far, but the sign is not as important as the energy. So we'll have to see what this King of Swords and Death card are all about. So tell me more about the energies here for Sagittarius regarding love. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So I feel like a lot of you know this person. 
you know this person, you're interested in someone. So let's break these down. Let's get some insight into what the heck this is all about. Tell me about the King of Swords. Get some clarity, some insight, spirit. Tell me about this King of Swords. Tell me about the King of Swords. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the King of Swords? Knight of Cups. I feel like someone's communicating their feelings here with the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. I think whatever they've told you, or whatever they're telling you, I guess I should say, um, I think it's something that they've really thought about like on their own or have kept to themselves. Because the Hermit, they are um, withdrawn, quiet, pensive, reflective, right? They kind of go away from the crowds and do their own thinking and reflecting. I feel like this person, They've thought about you. They've thought about this connection. Yeah, there's the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy. And I think they want to talk to you about how they feel towards you, towards this connection. Okay, so let's look at this death card. What's this death card about? Tell me about death. Tell me about death. What do we need to know? about death the world endings and new beginnings something i feel has ended or changed in order for this new cycle to begin sagittarius i don't know if this is and this could be any type of change this could be someone changing jobs right like like a job change happened and that makes you like meet new people and you meet this person or Someone is going through a change internally, like they've changed over time or they've changed because they've learned lessons or they're going through some sort of change because they're realizing things. Maybe they're ending a cycle in their life, moving like a physical location or something like that. I mean, it could be many interpretations here. Um, as, of, as of right now, just because I've just started clarifying. So tell me about death. What can you tell me about death for Sagittarius? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about death? The moon, Pisces energy. I think that someone has, you know, there's something here about like keeping to themselves, especially we have this broken silence energy. The moon is all about what's hidden beneath the surface illusions fears doubts things you can't see clearly tell me about death can i get one more can i get one more for death the three of swords i feel like someone could have been hiding a painful situation or that maybe heartache or disappointment they've hidden this interesting this could be that I mean there's a possibility here that you and this person had a history and maybe they hid the feelings the real feelings they had about this ending hmm Okay, let's keep going. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Please ignore my dogs in the background. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Two of Wands. Yeah, there's a decision. Someone has a path to choose, a decision to make with the Seven of Cups, and they're trying to make this decision. 
There's the chariot, Cancer energy. Maybe this is a decision about a specific move that they want to make or are making. Let me move these over. I kind of want to be able to see all of these if I can. So this decision is about a move that they're making. This could be a physical move or a move towards you. The chariot is all about being on the path towards success. You're in the right, you're going in the right direction. Tell me about the seven of cups, three of pentacles. Oh gosh. I wonder if this is a third party situation or if there's someone else here because of this choice dynamic. It's almost like maybe someone is deciding between two people, two different paths they could take. All right, I'm going to have to like get down to your energies to see what the heck's going on here because I feel like this is going to be a little complicated. Let me get some wisdom and I mean not wisdom animal spirit spirit tell me about the energies between Sagittarius and this other person Sagittarius I have you on the left and your person's on the right but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you get some insight please oh okay I didn't even ask my question so all right, tell me about the energies that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection spirit. What do we need to know about the energies that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection? Well, you have the two of cups on your end. So I feel like in your mind, this is a strong connection. This could be a soulmate. Okay, we have the beaver. I think you're very loyal to this person. Um, this person could be somebody that you see a lot of potential with because the beaver is like the family-oriented person, the provider, the one that works very hard, very diligent. The beaver is loyal and, you know, all they want to do is provide for their family. I feel like you might think of this person in this way or you are very loyal to this person. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies? towards Sagittarius. What do we need to know about their energies towards Sagittarius? The Buffalo. Okay, so the Buffalo is very steady, grounded energy. They're not afraid of the challenges ahead. They're willing to kind of push through. Um, and it's almost like they, they know it will be difficult, but they're not scared off by that, the Buffalo. This could be an act. For your person maybe they're acting or trying to be this steady grounded energy even though maybe deep down they're worried or anxious just because i have the hyena at the bottom of the deck let me see what else do we need to know tell me more about this person tell me more about this person's energies what do we need to know what do we need to know about this person's energies. This person's energy. What do we need to know? Well, I can tell you that they have the Page of Swords. So I feel like they have something to say. Transformation, metamorphosis, and renewal. Very similar to the Death card. I feel like this person is going through a change in their life or they're changing their mind about something. Maybe they're even having like a change of heart. But I don't know. I feel like this death card here with the world, it's like someone wants to have a new beginning, a new start. Like they want to change things for the new cycle, for the cycle coming up. Um, okay, let me get some other. Tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling. What are they thinking or feeling, this person, spirit? What are they thinking or feeling towards, okay. My life is not as together as it seems, exactly. That's kind of what I was picking up with this buffalo and the hyena. It's like they're presenting themselves to be 
I don't know, maybe they're presenting themselves to be someone very mature, like they have everything under control, that kind of energy, but maybe it's not so simple. I'm also getting that this person, there's something ending in their life that maybe appeared good. So for example, maybe this was a person who had a specific career, something that a lot of people knew them as, and then that career has ended, which is kind of surprising to other people, something like that. Or maybe they're moving, or maybe they're going through a burden or a, a serious situation that was heartbreaking. Three of Swords, we also have the Ten of Wands. There's something going on with this person. Bottom of the deck, we will be together again. I keep getting this card. Okay, for like different signs, I keep getting that card. Let me get one more. Can I get one more energy for this person? Where are their energies? Towards Sagittarius. What are their energies towards Sagittarius? I'm afraid. I'm taking action. Okay, so they're scared, but they're going to take action. I feel like they're afraid to do this chariot energy here or make this decision. Okay, so let's get some clarity about your energies here. Spirit, can I get some clarity, please, on these energies between Sagittarius and this other person? Can you tell us about the Two of Cups, Eight of Wands? Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Two of Cups or Eight of Wands. What do we need to know about these energies? The Sun. Okay, tell me about the Two of Cups, Eight of Wands. Well, with the eight of, wow, the Ten of Cups. Again, I feel like you see potential with this person. This person makes you happy. I think you'd be happy to hear from them too because I have the Eight of Wands here. So the Eight of Wands is could be action or communication. I feel like you're happy with whatever it is, whether it's action or communication from this person. Yeah, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I think what they're, what they're going to do or what they plan to do, you're going to be happy with with the Sun and the Ten of Cups. Can I get one more please for this Two of Cups, Eight of Wands? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about these energies? Two of Cups, Eight of Wands. Wow, Page of Cups. Oh yeah, there's there's feelings here. You have feelings for this person? Um, or you just like what they're telling you. Like what they're telling you, that's what you wanted to hear. If this is an apology with the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, or an expression of interest or love or whatever breaking the silence is happening with them you're happy to hear from them you're happy with what they're telling you i feel so let's look over here what's this page of swords two of pentacles about maybe you're happy with the choice they've made sagittarius tell me about the two of pentacles and the page of swords tell me about the two of pentacles and the page of swords four of wands okay Tell me about the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. King of Pentacles. Hmm. What else do we need to know with this Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords? The Five of Swords. They want to talk about some sort of conflict. I don't know if it's a conflict with you or a conflict they've experienced on their own. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so whatever conflict this is, and there's the King of Swords again. Whatever conflict they're thinking about, I think they want to make it better or resolve it with this Ace of Pentacles. I mean... And I have to say, Sagittarius, I can't make out with the cards that are on the table, the energies that have shown up so far. I can't make out if there's a third party situation. I can't make out the specifics. I feel like even as I keep clarifying, there's so many different scenarios this could fit for. I think that this person had a history with you from what I see that they haven't been open about. So if something ended in the past between you and it was painful, they haven't really been open about that. 
if this person has to choose between two different people or two different circumstances in love, then they haven't really told you about that because there's an energy here of them having to tell you, having to communicate with the King of Swords. And there's a Three of Cups. So this could be that they want to talk about the past in order to have a new beginning here. The world is here. Four of Wands is here. Ten of Cups is here. I think you'll be happy to hear this from them, that they're thinking in this way. I think that they've chosen or decided here with the two of wands and the chariot, they've decided or are deciding at this time to come forward. Like that's the choice. The choice is to come forward. Tell me more about the two of pentacles and the page of swords. Can I get one more please? For the two of pentacles and the page of swords. Okay, Three of Cups again, and then the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I just feel like this is somebody that wants to come together. And also I see here that there could be a choice between two different people. I think this might surprise you because their life is not as together as it seems. So there's something about this decision that this person is afraid of. Whatever action they're taking towards you, it's like they're kind of scared to, to do that. Or to make it happen and i think it's because they would have to end something with the death card up here or they would have to break the silence like if there hasn't been a lot of communication they would have to break the silence okay so what can you expect in the near future we have the four of swords the knight of swords okay you can definitely expect communication oh and the three of swords well, when I see the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords, Three of Swords is about heartbreak, disappointment. Four of Swords is about healing from that, resting, reflecting on this. So let's see. Can I get some clarity, please, on the outcome for Sagittarius? Tell me about the Three of Swords. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm going to drop my cards. Okay, we have the Empress, Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands. Okay, so interesting. When I see all of those, the Empress could be a feminine energy, a parental figure, um, or a symbol for someone they admire, desire, you know, someone that has a lot of value, a lot of worth. But the nine of wands, I feel like there's, I feel like there has been, whatever this painful history is between you, I think both of you have dealt with it in a similar way. Maybe you are wary, mistrustful of others. You've been burned by what happened. If you both have not been burned by what happened, then this person's thinking that you are guarded, resistant, burned, or feel burned by what happened with the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. And the Eight of Wands tells me that they're going to communicate here about this painful history. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Six of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. The King of Wands. Yeah, this is action that they're taking, hoping for success. Tell me about the Four of Swords, the hangman. I think that this, yeah, ace of swords. I think with the hangman, the four of swords, and the ace of swords, it's almost like this is breaking the silence. Like someone was just reflecting, healing, quiet, and then now the ace of swords is here. Yeah, and the knight of swords again. I think someone's breaking their silence to talk to you, specifically to talk to you, to fix things or talk about the past it's like they need to discuss the past with you and there's action tied to this it's like they're the ones that are coming forward tell me about this let me just separate these just to double check tell me about the ace of swords knight of swords eight of wands can i get one energy please for the Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, sorry. What energy, please? Temperance, yeah. It's to resolve a conflict. There you are, Sagittarius. Temperance energy. 
This is about resolving a problem, resolving a conflict, bringing harmony back to a situation, bringing balance back to a situation. Can I get one more energy regarding this person's thoughts, feelings, intentions towards Sagittarius? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings? Everything reminds me of you. Yeah, this person's thinking about you. Bottom of the deck, I wish I could go back in time. Obviously, that cannot happen. I think you have a history with this person. I think they've been thinking about you. I think something has happened in their life recently where there's been a change, a transformation that has taken place. And I think that they've been debating with themselves what decision to make, what choice to make. And I feel like they finally decided that they're going to break their silence in order to bring things back into balance. So expect a message from them about that. I think you'll be happy with that message based on this energy. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. If you haven't already, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments if you have anything to share. And hopefully I'll be seeing you all in another video very soon. Take care.